Namaste and welcome to Wellness with Shama. I know most of you are not really used to moving around. Some of you are, but this is for absolute beginners who have always been hesitant to move. And now that you are all at home, I think you should start moving and do something um, for beginners. Today is going to be very, very easy because I'm really not going to be even getting up from here. Mm, simple, doesn't it sound easy? All right, let's see what we have to do just sitting down on the floor. All right, let's start off with a few head movements. Breathe in and when you breathe out, turn your head to the side. Breathe in and out. Give it a nice fine stretch. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. All right. Now we'll try another head movement, which is pulling your ears closer to your shoulder. Try not to lift your shoulder though. Let's start. Breathe in and out. Give it a nice fine stretch. Feel all those muscles on your neck. You'll feel it on the nape of your neck and also on your shoulder sometimes. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Out, breathe in and out. What I'd suggest is take it easy and slowly understand each muscle, observe each muscle that's being worked out as you stretch your neck. The moments may seem simple, but as you practice this with more awareness, you realize how many muscles are required to just do a simple action such as this one. Breathe in and out. So by doing so and by realizing that it is a moment that you can take to appreciate your body for what it is. All right, now let's do a complete head rotation, dropping down your head to one side and breathing out, allowing your chin to drop onto your chest. Onto the other side, dropping your head completely and Rotating it as you breathe in and breathe out as you drop your head down. You can do it along with me. I'm going at a very, very slow pace. Breathe out as you come down. Breathe in. And one more round. Breathe. Out and in. We've completed four rounds of circular motion. Now we do it to the opposite side. So we drop our head and breathe out and in. is so relaxing for many of you who are working from home sitting at a desk not usually having a proper desk to sit at not having a proper position to work in you might experience a lot of neck shoulder and back aches this one is a perfect way to relieve stress in your neck and shoulder uh, moving on let's do a little bit of shoulder rotation so you breathe in put your palms on your shoulder and then swing your elbows in as you breathe in and breathe out that feels good let's do it again breathe in and out 
breathe in and out one more round breathe in and out now let's do it the other way breathe in pull it from behind and out breathe in and out breathe in and out breathe in and out that was nice all right now let's stretch our legs a bit this might be not so easy if you're not used to sitting on the floor use your hands to support your back you may rest your hands behind your back or if you feel comfortable just by the side of your body try and keep your spine erect okay which means try not to hunch as you sit let's keep this back nice and straight right all right what do we do now now we move our leg by almost a hip distance apart and breathe in open your feet to the side breathe out pull your toes in breathe in and out didn't I say this was simple breathe in and out while you do this try and keep your knees on the floor there is a tendency to do this so let's try not to do that and instead keep your knees grounded and in and out breathe in and out easy peasy now we go on a full leg rotation breathing in stretching and breathing out in and out in out breathe in and out now the other way around breathe in and out breathe in and out breathe in and out breathe in and out now let's curl our toes in tighten it up and now point it towards you let's curl our toes in tightening it up and point it towards you it isn't so easy but let's try curling your toes in tightening it up feeling the pressure on your feet you'll feel it on the ball of your feet and your toes and then releasing it now pointing your toes towards you now let's give it a nice stretch to the front and then towards you one more time towards the front and towards you to the front and towards you to the front and then towards you all right that was easy now let's give it give our hips a little bit of a twist so you breathe in and you breathe out breathe in and out in and out in and out every time you come up try to keep your spine straight and long breathe out breathe in and out breathe in enjoy the moment as you try and come down press your palms against the floor try not to put only your fingers down this is something i usually see in my class you're putting a lot of pressure on your fingers as you do this so put your entire palm on the floor and go down giving your back a nice stretch giving your hip a nice twist and breathe out breathe in and out breathe in and out was nice all right now moving on let's do a little bit of a stretch forward now most of you find it uh, difficult to touch your toes 
Let's not try and touch our toes. The objective is not to touch your toes. All right, that itself it makes the whole task easy. But the task is to keep your back straight and stretch forward, just lean forward as much as you can, keeping your back straight. All right, so let's try again. One, two, three, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, out. Breathe in and 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 out. Well done. All right. Moving on, let's do a little bit of a knee exercise or warm up. So you breathe in, lift your leg towards you. Now push it out, out. Breathe in and out, in and out. In and out, in and out. In and out, in and out. Breathe in and out, in and out. Let's do it with the other knee. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. Breathe in and out. That was easy, wasn't it? All right. How do we flex our hips a little more? Try sitting on the floor and this is one of the most important positions that can help you loosen up your hips. And by loosening your hips, you have lesser chances of injury. And here we go. This is called the Baddha Konasana, traditionally or more popularly it's called the butterfly position. Uh, Baddha Konasana is also referred to as a cobbler's position because if you look at Indian cobblers back in rural India, you see them sitting like this. The best thing about Baddha Konasana is it helps to tighten your pelvic floor muscles and that can keep a lot of problems at bay if your pelvic floor muscles are strong enough. All right, now the most important thing while practicing Baddha Konasana again is to keep your back straight. So if that means you cannot keep your back straight while you pull your legs in, I need you to try and keep your legs far enough so that your back remains straight. Now to explain, I'll show it this way. So if you sit like this, facing your feet to each other and you can maintain your back straight, that's the right position. Now try pulling your legs a little more inside. Is your back straight? If it is, you're doing good. Now let's try pulling it a little more inwards. Is your back still straight? Fantastic. Let's do one final stretch, pulling your legs as close as possible, keeping your back straight. All right? While you do yoga, the one most important thing you should remember is you have to follow your own pace. You do not have to compete with anyone. You do not need to try and replicate exactly what someone else is doing. So which means if you're only comfortable keeping your back straight at this posture, maintain it that way. All right, now what do we do once we achieve a straight back in Baddha Konasana like this? You can keep it at any comfortable pace that you find. And now start flapping away. Now this is why they call it the butterfly posture because from afar when everyone in the class is literally fluttering it looks like butterflies from afar and that is how it got its name butterfly position. Now to add a little bit of restraint put your palms against your knees and try and see if you can pull your legs further downwards. Now to give that one final stretch, again, maintain your back straight, breathe in, stretch up. When you breathe out, you keep going down, keep going down 
as long as you can maintain your back straight and if you can't stay at where your back remains straight and hold if you can go down keep going down as much as your body lets you this is so relaxing it stretches your entire back it opens up your lower back you feel all that tension in your lower back release as you go down in this posture let's do it again sideways just for your sake you breathe in now if this is where your back can stay straight at its maximum maintain it there and breathe if you can go further keep going until you can maintain your back straight that is one beautiful stretch for your back all right another very important position for people who are working from home to relieve stress on your shoulder for people who do a lot of job with uh, using using strain on your arms suppose you're a healthcare worker and you have to lift heavy things or you have to move around, move heavy things around this posture can actually help relieve the tension from your shoulder and also ensure that you maintain maximum flexibility with your shoulders all right to perform this asana we have to bring in one leg cross the other leg try and see if you can get both your knees in the same line once this is done even if you can't achieve a maximum perfection with this it's fine to just do that much at the beginning eventually you'll see that you can pull drag slightly pull until you achieve this position you'll feel a fine stretch along your along the side of your feet and your thighs once this is done whichever leg is on top take that hand up take the other hand down and now i'll turn around and show you what we're going to do one hand up one hand down saying hello you can shake hands with your own hands so this is all right even when you're isolating yourself so try and pull your hands together you feel this nice and fine stretch along your entire arm if this is not achievable even this should be fine in the beginning just keep pulling pulling doing your maximum saying hello finger and then hello fingers until you can lock your palms together and at your best position you should try and have your elbow above your head like this and then keep your head straight try not to bend down your spine should always be straight like that beautiful you feel like an entire beautiful stretch along your arm as you do this let's try it on the other side this time this leg goes down and this leg goes over it when you got your knees together in one line take one hand up the other hand down and lock your fingers together smile stay there and breathe this is called the gomukhasana or the cow face asana uh, the best thing about this asana is it helps to relieve the tension from your entire upper back it gives a nice and fine stretch for so those who are sitting and working at their desk all day long hunching their upper back and putting a lot of strain on your upper back this helps to relieve that how easy can yoga be guys i haven't even stood up and look we have already done a bit of a workout this is going to be fun i hope you follow all the instruction and copy what i'm doing uh, i'll meet you soon next week until then oops i'm not meeting you next week i'm meeting you tomorrow good luck practicing goodbye